Hello and welcome to the next edition of the HP Discover podcast series. I'm Dana Gardner, Principal Analyst at Inner Arbor Solutions, your host and moderator for this ongoing sponsored discussion on IT innovation and how it's making an impact on people's lives. Once again, we're focusing on how companies are adapting to the new style of IT to improve IT performance and deliver better user experiences as well as better business results. Our next innovation case study interview highlights how Avito in Moscow, an e-commerce site in Portal, is using big data technology to improve the placement of advertisements and to better understand how their users are um, adapting to this new age of IT and advertising. With that, please join me in welcoming our guest. We're here with Nikolai Golov, the Chief Data Warehousing Architect at Avito. Welcome. Hi. Tell us a little bit about um, your your site and your business at Avito. Uh, not that many people perhaps here in North America know about it, but it sounds like it's the Craigslist of, of Russia. Uh, yes, absolutely. Avito is a Russian Craigslist. It's uh, Now it's the uh, uh, biggest such site in Russia, and also uh, it's a uh, biggest even search engine for some goods. Uh, we have more uh, searches of, for example, iPhone uh, on Avita than on Google or Yandex. Yandex is a Russian Google. So does this cover all of uh, retail type of goods, services, uh, business to business? Tell us about the breadth of goods and services that are on your site at Avito. Uh, on Avito, uh, you can sell uh, almost everything that uh, can be bought at supermarket. Uh, you can sell cars, you can sell houses or rent them, for example. Uh, and now uh, you even can find the boats uh, or uh, business jets. I suppose now we have about three business jets uh, in, uh, provided for buying. So quite a diversity. Uh, what are your big data needs? It sounds in a, a country as large as Russia with that many goods and services, you have a volume of data issue, uh, but what is it that attracted you to seeking a, a warehouse and a, a big data implementation? Uh, you know, the main advantages of Avito is, uh, firstly, its size. Uh, everybody in Russia knows that if you want to buy or sell something, the best place for it is Avito first uh, and second is uh, speed it is very easy to uh, use it it is have very uh, 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 easy interface uh, so we must uh, to, uh, to keep this two advantages but uh, all, uh, they are all there are also some uh, I don't know bad people which want to sell use Avita to sell weapons drugs uh, people so all prohibited materials. And it's absolutely critical for Avito to uh, keep, uh, keep it clean, to prevent su uh, such items from appearing in search queries of our visitors. Uh, and you remember that we must stay big. That we are growing very fast. And if we uh, use a normal moderation uh, by uh, leave people, we have to uh, um, we have to uh, um, to uh, increase our expense on moderation uh, in a linear progression as we as we grow. So the only solution for it to uh, avoid uh, linear uh, increasing of expenses is to use some automation. And so in order to rapidly and in an automated fashion decide which should or should not be appearing on your site, you've decided to use a data warehouse that um, provides a streaming uh, real-time data effect. Uh, tell me what your requirements are for the technology. Uh, yes, you are right. Uh, we, uh, uh, we have, uh, really, we have a... Uh, 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 various requ uh, uh, requirements. For example, uh, we need to uh, be able to uh, f perform a fast fraud uh, detection. We have uh, so uh, our data warehouse have to uh, to have a very little delay from uh, the uh, real uh, real world. About uh, hours is not permitted. It's it must be tens uh, or 
tens minutes, no more. Uh, second, uh, we have to uh, have data uh, for a uh, long period of history to uh, learn our data mining algorithms, to create reports, to analyze trends. Uh, uh, so uh, the, our data warehouse have to be big. It uh, have to store uh, months, uh, if it possible, years of data. Uh, so it have to be fast. Uh, with a little delay, it have to be big. Uh, and uh, third one, uh, we are um, developing very fast. We are adding some new services. Uh, we integrate with uh, some partners. Uh, not long ago, for example, we added information from uh, Google AdWords to optimize showing banners and so on. Uh, and so uh, our data warehouse must be very flexible. It uh, must uh, be able to uh, to to grow up without uh, harming uh, previous functionality. And so, uh, Nikolai, how long have you been using Vertica, HP Vertica, and, and how did you come to choose that particular uh, platform? Uh, we use it almost full year now. Uh, we have uh, chosen uh, Vertica. There were two main advantages. Uh, first, uh, speed of uh, loading data. So the speed which uh, pro was provided by Vertica without some. Uh, and uh, second one is uh, its ability to uh, upgrade. So uh, you know Vertica uses uh, commodity hardware. So uh, if uh, you uh, have some new requirements, which uh, uh, require you to increase uh, uh, its ability of execute. It's, uh, uh, it's really great, uh, and it, may, it, it can be uh, done really fast. We tested it already uh, during this year. So Vertica was the winner. And um, do you have any sense of what the um performance and characteristics of Vertica and your data warehouse have, have gotten for you? Do you have a, a sense of um, reduced fraud by X percent or you have better analytics that have given you a business advantage of some sort? Are there any, any ways to measure the, the, the impact? Uh, you know, uh, I suppose that um uh, features <laughs> uh, that our marketing have such features, I don't remember them. But uh, what I know, uh, during this year, uh, Avito uh, became, I suppose, twice uh, bigger than it was. It uh, grows really fast. And uh, we have moderation team, uh, about uh, 250 persons at the beginning of this process. Now we have the same moderation team. Uh, but volume of uh, items increased, I suppose, twice. I suppose it's one of the best measures which can be used. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, um, looking to the future, when you're working in a business where your margins, your business, your revenue comes from the ability to provide a advertisement placements and value to your uh, sellers and buyers, uh, will there be a data warehouse and analytics value to uh, improving the um, performance and uh, the value on the uh, actual um, distribution of ads and, and the cost associated with that? That is to say, in addition to fraud protection, is there a value from your analytics over a period of time that you'll be able to refine the business algorithms and or actual ability to... Um, uh, provide value uh, to your customers? Uh, yes, I suppose uh, now we are starting a uh, few more projects. Uh, the main aim of, uh, of them uh, is just create our own tool for optimizing uh, uh, direct channels of uh, advertising uh, via banners, via uh, email. Uh, email marketing campaign, uh, SMS, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. So we uh, we have achieved some results in reporting, in work reporting, in uh, fraud prevention. We will continue to work in, th in those direction, and we will add, we are planning to add some new types of functionality to our 
uh, data warehouse. So it certainly seems that a data warehouse is uh, perhaps something that delivers a tactical benefit or value, but then over time very rapidly moves to uh, multiple tactical benefits or a strategic benefit. Uh, the more data and inference and understanding you have of your processes, the more powerful you can become as a, a total business. Uh, yes, I suppose, yes. Uh, one of uh, persons in Russia, uh, one of my teachers in Data Warehouse, and uh, he explains the role of Data Warehouse into uh, enterprise. It's like... Um, uh, like a drive, like a diesel inside a ship. It just walks, walks, and walks, and it's uh, hard. Uh, and around it, you can create various tools to increase them, uh, to make them better, uh, but there always must be something deep inside which provides all the tools with a uh, correct, uh, uh, with a correct, uh, full and uh, clear uh, data gathered about, uh, about all uh, sides of our business. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm wondering uh, for others who are listening to you and saying, yeah, we, we really need to have that core platform in order to build out these other uh, values over time. Uh, any lessons that you've learned that you might share? That is to say, uh, if you're starting out to uh, develop your own data warehouse, your own BI and analytics capabilities, uh, any advice that you, you would offer people? Um, first, uh, uh, you uh, have to be ready to be flexible, because if you will ask business uh, about something, uh, about something, uh, if you will ask them, can it change? They will tell you, no, it can't, it's, it will be absolutely uh, this uh, every time. And in uh, two months, it will change. If, if uh, you, will, uh, you will be not ready to uh, change structure of your data warehouse to, uh, to uh, get su such data, it would be a disaster first. And second one, uh, you, uh, there always will be errors and data, it will be gaps, and it is absolutely critical to start building data warehouse together with uh, automation uh, data quality system, which will uh, automatically control and monitor uh, uh, the quality of data and will uh, help you to see the problems when, uh, we will, uh, um, when uh, they will occur. Well, great. I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. We've been discussing how Avito, a large e-commerce portal, and uh, I suppose more than that, a super site in Moscow, has been deploying a data warehouse and BI capability to not only prevent uh, fraud, um, but also to grow its business through a better understanding of its customers and processes. So a big thank you to our guest. We've been here with Nikolai Golov, the chief data warehousing architect at Avito. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. And I'd like to thank our audience as well for joining us today for our special new style of IT discussion. I'm Dana Gardner, Principal Analyst at Inter Arbor Solutions, your host for this ongoing series of HP-sponsored discussions. Thanks so much for listening, and don't forget to come back next time.